So really at this point, I've done everything I can or everything I want to. We have our drum part. Now I'm actually going to drag it into my DAW so I can use a piano roll and do some additional editing. So I'm just gonna select everything. I'm gonna drag it up. Let me move this down just a bit. And I need to turn off follow host. If I don't and I play this, it's gonna play MIDI back from both the MIDI in my DAW and the MIDI that's in Easy Drummer 2, which we don't want. We want it to just play back the MIDI from Studio One at this point. Let's go ahead and close these windows here. I'm gonna double click. So now I'm actually dealing with the MIDI itself in the piano roll. Let's open this up so we have a bit more screen real estate. And this just allows me to make some additional adjustments. Actually, now that we're working in Studio One, I want to use a feature in Studio One to just get a bit more organized here. And let me bring back Easy Keys, and I'm gonna actually put some markers in my DAW so that I know where I'm at. I had color-coded blocks in both Easy Drummer 2 and Easy Keys, which is helpful to know what section of the song I'm in. But when I start working in my DAW, like we're gonna do now, it would be helpful to have some song markers. So that way we can know exactly where we're at. So let's create that first. Let me zoom in just a bit here. And we have this arrangement track button. And what this allows me to do is actually draw in sections and label them. So we we'll use easy keys as a reference. Measure two to measure 10 is our intro. So if I grab my pencil tool, two to measure 10 is our intro. 10 to 18 is our verse. And for the most part, it probably will get some of the arrangement right, right off the bat, but we can change that if it doesn't. 18 to 26 is our chorus. 26 to 34 is our verse two. Saying bridge. So we'll go ahead and adjust that. And actually I want to label these also. So I'm just gonna right click. And then you have some options. We don't need to really change anything, but I'm gonna double click here and we can change the name. So I want this to say verse one. So we stay nice and organized. This is gonna be chorus one. Now we'll go over here. This is verse two. We have chorus two, so that's 34 to 42. Now we have our bridge starting at measure 42 to 50. We have our third and final chorus, 50 to 58. And then of course we have our outro. 58 to 66 actually goes through 67 with that downbeat. All right, now if we zoom out, we have a nice view of our song. And so we can get to different sections right away. We have our intro. Verse, chorus, verse two, chorus two, bridge, chorus three, and the outro. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.